I think I've been doing segments on this since 2004 when we learned, when I started first learning about cicadas. They live underground for 17 years and they mm -hmm. come out. Well, now's the time they're all coming out. Apparently, they're out in Virginia, they're out in Maryland. I'm starting to get reports here in southern Pennsylvania and parts of South Jersey. Not hugely prevalent yet, but they say in the next two weeks, billions will be seen here in our Delaware Valley. But then it got to people, they started eating them. What's wrong with us as humans, Alex? Well, experts say they actually are a great snack, particularly the female nymphs, which are said to be especially tasty when they are fresh out of the ground. I'm like a female nymph. Mm -hmm. And we hear they taste like shrimp. So Hank has made his way to the Philadelphia Insectarium. If I bought a Wawa, are you, are you hungry? Yeah, uh, Hank. Like no, but it. that's all irrelevant. They may be a great <laughs> snack. Ordinarily, Alex, I would entirely take your word for it, but I don't think that's the situation we're in here. Mike, you said they're out. They're absolutely out here in the Great Northeast. Dr. John Cambridge of the hello, hello. Insectarium, guys. Uh, listen, we've got uh, cicadas all oh. over our shirts here. Yeah. Dr. John, he's at home fruit. with this. Um, yeah. But uh, this is Brood X. They're out. Uh, they're in the frying pan now. All right, um, so go well, ahead. This is actually the first cicada that we've seen in the greater Philadelphia area. We were able to bring these in for this segment, but most people have not seen the cicadas emerging yet. They've started out in the southern states, and they're starting to work their way north. So, again, we're going to be on the lookout in the next couple weeks for these things to start emerging in the billions around here. All right, and they're going into Chrissy's frying pan here, and she's cooking them up with some peppers and onions, kind of like a cheesesteak. What, we've got what some else steak we got? Stuff. But listen, uh, it, this is not just a gross-out exercise, no. and we have a lot no, of fun no. at the Insectarium, but this, these are enjoyed all over the world, and they're actually a great source of protein. Yes. Yeah. That is correct. They are used as a great source of protein. What I add in the skillet today is some Old Bay, some salt, and pretty much added the best of all, the cicada greatness seasoning. Well, that's it. And the, the Old Bay, because uh, John told me earlier that they taste like crab. Alex, you said earlier they taste like uh, uh, shrimp, so it's, it's, it's shellfish that come buzzing out of the ground every 14 years. Uh, and, and we're getting to a point, Callum says he's going to be the first one to eat one. Do it. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Do I don't know if he's really going to. We're shoehorning the kid in there, but it might be a zero hour, guys. It might be time to get on down to Hank, it and try. It. So uh, let's go ahead and dig in here. Or, or you have, okay. Now I'm expecting crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside here, guys. I may just uh, yarn all over the place, uh, but here we go. Oh boy, is anyone? Is anyone <laughs> <getting> <laughs> <that one? laughs> uh, is it tasty? Here, Kellen, have a <sighs> texture first. It's, it's actually not bad. Really? I wouldn't need any more. It's not <laughs> bad, but, I, but why do it? Well, because they're a great I'm source of protein. These you guys do it. Come but on. But wait, what does it taste? It has to taste like something. Alex what would Holly, you say? eat that bug. <laughs> what would you say it tastes like? <laughs> what? What does it taste like? It tastes like it tastes crispy. Oh, they're in there giggling and eating now. Oh, good, good, good. It's All right, here goes another one. Eat them. Yeah, it's keep, so keep them going. hard to say. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll be right. <laughs> oh my God. Is he going to swallow it? He's going in for another one? Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, I don't want to waste food. Yeah. Oh my God. There's a lot of. There's food insecurity in Philadelphia, and there's a lot of people actually worldwide and cultures all over the world where this is not unusual That's at all. True. It's actually. Uh, you know, no, it's normalized. In a lot of different places, insects are a standard part of the cuisine because they're able to convert things that we can't eat or other animals can't eat into things that are edible. Mm -hmm. And so, like a cow turns grass into something that we can eat, uh, flies, cicadas, other things are able to turn parts of nature that are normally inedible into human food. So we should enjoy this Philadelphia Insectarium cheesesteak right here and make it a market staple. And it's always fun and it's always weird and a little bit buggy, guys, but you always learn something new when you drop by the old insectarium up here on Frankfurt Avenue. And by Ooh. the way, they got the grand reopening up here, what, John, June 5th? June 5th. We're June coming 5th. up. It's real It's real soon. Uh, but real quick, I want to see someone eat a live one, and we have a friend here. Oh, you won't do it? Is anyone going to do it? Can someone do it? Here, I, I bet we got a guy who's going to do it. A live that thing. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. That is a bridge too far for me, <laughs> brothers and sisters. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, right. Who's that still moving. Dude? <laughs> oh, good. Thank okay. you, Hank. That is Michael. That's Callum's dad. Yeah. 
Callan, did, no, did that really what? happen? Do the thing. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, yes! Whoa! Oh, my God. Is that a live one? What is going on over there? Callan, you should do a live one. Poor little boy. Oh, gosh. It wasn't live. It was one of the okay. cooked ones. Oh. Child services. So oh, brave, brave, brave. So good. <laughs> Kudos to him for oh, going right in, though. Yeah. I mean. Not doing the live one. Again, Karen, I have not. If you would like, I'd... Well, I'm still concerned about, you know, with sharing of food oh, and things. I didn't breathe on yeah. it. I didn't taste it. Here you go, John. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. And someone was like, Put the, load the tape in the VCR. You know it's coming off the rails. Okay, oh, thanks, John. Oh, God, yeah. No, just place it down in front of her, John. Yeah. Just in front of her so oh. she can feel the aromas and it, it, there's a smell. So, Mike, how would you... <laughs> How is you? Oh, Karen, are you going to do it? No, I'm not going to do oh. it. I'm looking. No. Mm -mm. Well, thank God they were fried. I, I don't know that I could have done that raw. So what did like it taste like? Did it taste like shrimp? Oh, you didn't eat it? <laughs> did, did it taste like shrimp? It, it doesn't taste anything like shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the shell of a shrimp, you know, the last little bit of it, the oh, tail. I don't 